Hi guys and welcome to another video. So I believe we are on day eight of lockdown. So I just quickly wanted to say hi to everyone who's new on my channel and everyone who's been here for a while. Um, thank you all so much for watching these videos every single day. I'm getting so many lovely comments and DMs and just so much positive feedback from you guys. I'm absolutely loving it and I'm so happy that I can help you out and keep you entertained in such difficult times. With that, with that said, if you guys could do me a favour and remember to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get a notification every time I post, which is every day at 12pm, that would be amazing. That is also UK time. So with all that said, let's jump into the video. I've already mucked out this morning and now I'm going to go and grab Charlie and bring him up for his daily de-shedding and riding. There he is waiting for me for once. He's normally at the other end of the field because that's where all the grass is, but he obviously saw me coming. You ready to come up? Buzz. So the first thing I do when I bring Charlie in is that I just pick out all of his feet and then I use my shedding comb to try and remove his excess hair that's coming out at the minute. As I showed you in my previous video, Charlie is shedding a lot so this is going to be a daily thing that I'm going to have to do to try and get rid of all this excess hair. Only at this time of year my horses start rolling a lot because all the dead hair that's coming out annoys them um, but Charlie never seems to so so I just tend to just spend ages having to de-shed him um, but he is really good and he just stands there and lets me do it and it is quite therapeutic I don't know why I just find it like really therapeutic and really satisfying <clears throat> so once I've gone over him with the shedding comb, I then get some Shoshin and spray his feathers and just brush them through just so they don't get knotted and that they start to look a bit better. And then I swept up the hair that had come out from brushing him. Obviously if it's not your horse or your horse isn't used to brushes, don't just like sweep around them but Charlie, as you can see, genuinely couldn't care less. If So then I brush through Charlie's tail. This is my least favourite job because it is the thickest and curliest thing ever and he has so much hair. But anyway, I finally got that done and then I like to quickly go over his body and I only show you the areas that he will not have tack on because you don't want your tack slipping and sliding. And then finally, it's time to tack Charlie up. Charlie's very good. He stands there very still and he just kind of looks at me like, oh no, here we go again. I'd say as well, Charlie is probably the best out of all of my horses for having a bridle put on. He doesn't move away. Most of my horses try to like move or shake their head or just generally as soon as the head collar comes off they just start walking about and Charlie bless him will just stand stock still and let you put it on and let you shove his ears through. He's such a good boy. So once he's all tacked up it's just a job of hopping on fastening his girth and then popping into the arena. And oh, 
So today with Charlie we're just doing again what we did yesterday but with a slightly bit more trot so we're just walking a lot, doing a few transitions, doing a serpentine, working on circles, working on his bend. I also did a little bit of leg heel but I don't think I actually filmed that section. So once Charlie was all warmed up I then decided to do some pole work with him. Now the reason that we're doing pole work is because I want to keep him interested in the arena. He really doesn't particularly enjoy being within the arena if he prefers hacking out but while I'm bringing him into work he's going to have to get used to being in the arena. So pole work just is something different. I want to teach him to be working long and low. We're trying to build up his muscle. So so stuff like this is just a way of getting his mind concentrating, he's got to think about what he's doing a bit more and also Charlie is horrendous at picking his feet up. So it's kind of a little exercise for him to start practicing picking his feet up so that we can stop tripping constantly. Oh but he was very good, I've not done much pole work with him previously and he was trotting over them quite nicely in the end. So I was really pleased with him. I did have to go and move them a couple of times because he did knock them. But honestly, it really doesn't matter. As I say, he's not done poles in ages. It's only his second day of sort of being brought into work. So I was really, really pleased with him. I'm having to take some photos in the arena. He just stands there. Why are you so good? Come on, let's go in. Come on. So, oh, good boy. Come on. Were you very good? Do you deserve this? You do. He's been brilliant since I started bringing him back into work. But the thing is with Charlie, Charlie adores attention. Any attention he can get, he will take it. He has a short sort of attention span, so he'll only put up with you like grooming him for so long or anything like that. But he loves attention. He loves coming up from the field and being ridden. Well, not particularly being ridden, but eating his hay and having a groom and spending some time with me because he's a real people horse. A good boy and now i'm gonna turn him out so i've just been around at the house after turning charlie out and my mum's just fetched chili and lucy in and she's going to ride chili so now i'm going to give lucy a groom and i'm going to ride her um i think i'll do some more pole work with her as well um but yeah mum needs to ride first so today my mum is schooling Chili. She was working on impulsion with him because he was quite lazy for once, um, which was quite nice to see because he's been very naughty recently. She also used the poles because I left them out. Um, but she just did half an hour schooling with him and then I decided to jump on board for his cool down. So today Chili has been struggling a lot with his allergies. You'll see in these clips he's head shaking, he's nose bobbing, he's scratching and that's just because at this time of year his allergies do get a lot worse. So he's on Puritan, he's on various other things to try and deal with them. However, he does also use his allergies to evade. So on days like this where he's started off fine but then after half an hour he's sort of got worse and started head bobbing more, we have to push through and finish the cool down. So I was only walking and trotting, I wasn't asking much of him, he was quite happy to do that. And I also did pop him over the poles myself, just in walk a few times, just because I thought, well, they're there, I might as well use them. 
but he was actually very good. He's been very fizzy and quite naughty recently. So it was quite nice to get back on him and kind of feel like we had the old chilli back because this spring fever chilli I'm not a fan of. But as you can see today he was very relaxed so that was the end of his cool down. I rode him back into the stables and then untacked him for mum. weren't you? Good boy. And now it's Lulu's turn. Now today Lucy was quite lazy, she's swapped fields with Chili so she's got a bigger field now so I think she just gorged on grass and even though she'd been in the stable for a bit so we bring the horses in before we ride them um, just so they're not going straight from eating to being in the arena but she'd been in the stable for a bit and she was very lethargic today, she obviously just wasn't feeling it, she wasn't listening to me very well but I thought you know what we'll just go ahead, some days are like this, some days they just you know they're not going to listen and you just have to push through she wasn't naughty she wasn't bad she just wasn't really on it today um which is absolutely fine everyone has their off days i definitely do so we did a bit of work we did some serpentines they seem to be like my favorite thing at the minute i don't know why i think it's just because it actually really helps lucy with her bending especially on her left ring because she's a nightmare on that And then I decided to do a bit of pole work with her as well, seeing as they were out. So I just walked and then I trotted and then we realised they were a bit short because she did actually PF instead of going over them normally. So luckily my mum was there to adjust them and just make them a slightly bit bigger. And then we tried again and she was perfect this time so she trotted over them really well. Now Lucy did used to be scared of poles so the fact that she's sort of doing this is really good. Um, eventually I would like to consider possibly trying to jump Lucy. She has never been jumped but we will see maybe in a few weeks time if I can introduce more pole work we can actually put a little jump in there. But that was Lucy done for today. She was very good, as I said, just a bit lazy. So I popped her back in the stables and jumped off. And then, as usual, it's just a case of untacking her and popping her back in a stable. bring Carol in, which means one thing, doesn't it, Cara? Ready, set, <laughs> go! Oh, 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 I got a lead! Yes! <laughs> Charlie isn't the only one who's shedding. Look at all of this. Oh, what? Little one. Yep, cutie. Put your wee little boots on. Your wee little boots. It's like, oh, you want this one? I don't want any one. Oh, 
Out you go. Out you go. Come on. Walk on. Good girl. Good girl. And trap. Come on out. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. And cut her. Good girl. Very good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good girl walk. Good girl walk. Good girl. Good girl. And halt. Clever girl. Very good girl. Out you go. Out you go. Good girl. Drop down. She doesn't like this rain as much. Do we? Steady. So once I'd warmed caramel up and lunged her, I decided to go and shorten the trotting poles so that I could pop her over them. And today I was carrying a whip because I was planning on doing some free schooling. You'll see how that goes in a minute. So obviously we start by walking over and then I trotted over with her and she was doing really well. She's yeah. very good at poles and jumps as we found out the other day when I jumped her. And then I started running in front of her just so she could kind of do it on her own. <laughs> and then I actually took the lunge line off so that she was doing it just by following me. So we're going to give free schooling her a little go. Hmm, it's going well. Steady, calm down. <laughs> I think I've got a racehorse. Steady. Steady. And for those of you wondering, this is why I never free school caramel. <laughs> Look what you've done to my arena. Look what you've done to my arena. Yes, thank you. It's like I've got so much space. Don't you dare. You're too unfit to be doing this, aren't you? Oh, now she comes back to me. Oh, now you want to follow me, do you? Honestly, guys, if your horse just does that, leave them to it and walk away. Because when you walk away, they do this. They come back. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Right, so that is caramel turned out. I gave her a brush off because she was a little bit sweaty. As you can imagine, she was going to imitate a racehorse. Yes. You're in 11 hand wall section A, not a thoroughbred. Do my hands taste nice? There you go, madam. Well, if nothing else, she'll have let off some steam. And it's all good cardio <laughs> because she definitely does need to lose a bit of weight but that wasn't how i'd have done it <laughs> intense cardio wasn't going to be the plan but she changed the plan so now i am sick of looking at horses i've ridden three i've chased one round the arena um yeah i think i think it's time to go around to the house 
possibly see the other animals um but yeah we'll do okay, that so we've just come down to see the piggies because i want to give them some new enrichment today so i remember that we have these water butt holders that we no longer use so these are really deep um and they have like a hole in the center of them so what i'm going to do with these is put some carrots in the middle because i know the pigs can't reach in there and see what they do to try and get it out so so it's kind of a little bit of a puzzle for them as you can see they're ready and rearing so i'm going to pop these carrots in so now that they're in we'll pop them in and see what the piggies do Because Primrose got that really quickly, what I've done with pickles is shoved a load of hay in there, really stuffed it in so that the carrots are at the bottom so he's going to have to work a lot harder than she did to get his carrots out. just loves sticking his head in things so I've taken half of the hay that was in there out so hopefully he'll realize that there are carrots in there and that he needs to try and get them out I did pack it really full because Primrose got hers really quickly but now he's just eating the hay yeah. Yay, good boy. That nice. So because Primrose worked hers out super quick and Pickle was still playing with his, I also made her a hay one. So that is the end of the video today guys, I hope you've enjoyed it, there's been a lot of riding and I am so tired after riding three horses and also exercising caramel, but I hope today's video was worth it. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 12, don't forget to subscribe, see you tomorrow guys, bye!